Well, here we are. Oh, a bee storm, old bee storm. I love that one. But yeah, here we are, what off fight. Riding with the Hogs, the two V twins, Harley Drive V twins. I'm here bringing it back with my smooth the Japanese V4. Got a lovely V8 between us, so we're practically a Mustang. It's funny the differences, particularly between mine and the Harley up front, because like we're both in the same market. We're both cruisers. We're both sportier cruisers, as much as the Harley can be sporty. But um, <laughs> the way it shakes and rattles, and then I'm here with a nice, smooth, silky Japanese. Can't beat it. So yeah, we're just off for a little bimble. It's a, an ordinary weekday. I'm actually currently between jobs, which is the reason I'm not at work currently. So stress levels are fairly high, as you can imagine. But we're having a good time. Uh, we're out on what's supposed to be a dry day. Don't quite know if I believe that yet. The weather yesterday was dog shit. But um, yeah. Been out with my friend up front, uh, up middle, who's uh, riding his very nice new Buell. And then up front is his friend that I met for the first time today. <laughs> oh boy, the double denim's checking out the uh, Harleys. It's an interesting range of stances we've got going on as well. Like, you obviously got me at the back cruiser but I've got quite low bars, quite straight bars, fairly upright seat position and I've got mid controls. Then in the middle we've got the adventure cruiser with an upright riding position and his feet are actually further back than I thought they'd be. They're under his ass. So they're a little bit further back than some adventure bikes. And then obviously nice upright straight bars. And then we've got that hole up at the front. It's got that full apes and forward controls. Don't know what I think about apes. I had apes on my Virago 1100, which none of you guys saw because it lasted one day and broke, so I gave it back to the dealership. Yeah, I had sort of... They weren't quite apes, they were like mini apes. They were shoulder height. <laughs> I called them gibbons because they're not quite full apes. They look ridiculous, um, but they, they actually weren't as bad as I expected them to be. They're sort of fairly relaxed. Your arm sort of hangs down easy. But like you're not reaching forward, which is quite nice. They give you a, a, a weird amount of leverage over the over the bike because you're so high up, you can sort of like swing off them a bit. I don't know if I'd have another bike with them. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'd have to live with them for longer, I think. Like I, said, I only had that Virago for literally a weekend, so I didn't really get a chance to experience what it's like in the daily, what it's like on longer trips. You know, oh, it's a beautiful area. This though. So we just met up there, we're in a dog wars, we're heading down towards Lou. Now we're gonna go and get fuel there, um, probably get lunch, we'll see. And then I think we're gonna go along the coast and go check out a pub afterwards. So yeah. Should be a nice little ride. None of us have anywhere to be today, which is nice. Just get to enjoy this day and that's the guy at front said like it's we're getting a bit l later in the year now. This is probably one of the last chances for a sunny ride out we're going to have this year, unfortunately. Got to make the most, haven't we? Got to make the most. Really not hyped about summer being over. We didn't get a summer this year. We had a lot of rain, particularly here in Cornwall. I mean, everywhere I did, but particularly down here, it was dreadful. Winter's always a hard time for me. You know, I struggle with the dark and the cold and the sort of bleakness of it. And obviously I struggle not being able to ride my bikes and enjoy them. So we'll see how it goes this year. This year's been a very long, stressful year. I'm sure you know from my videos, if you've been watching them. A lot of st uh, stuff to deal with. I still am dealing with most of it. I think perhaps this winter will be a tough one. But hopefully, if this new job... Oh, that's another thing as well. I should talk about that. Um, new job. I've got a new job coming up. I've left my previous job. As you remember, I was getting um, four out up for the remote working. I've been able to get a new job, which is also remote working. I'm not going to say what it is, obviously, or, you know, anything about it, but the important headline for me, and in terms of the channel side of things, is that it's fully remote forever. So, assuming this works out, and assuming that I make it through probation, and, you know, I'm not too much of a fucking idiot to keep it, um, 
Jesus, look at it, beautiful. Um, yeah, assuming it works out, it should be amazing. It should be the start of a new chapter in life. Like, in 2020, despite the pandemic, and despite getting knocked off my bike and, like, fucked over in that crash, it was still the best year I've ever had in my living memory. And I, I genuinely mean that, because I started remote working, um, and just, like, everything was so much better. I was working from home, I didn't have commute, I didn't have that daily stress of like trying to get through traffic and going out in winter and scraping ice and worrying about stuff. And I wasn't getting done for lateness, I wasn't getting done for, you know, not fitting office vibes and whatever. Just like, I was able to just live and work and it was great and I was in a nice little apartment in the, in the countryside which was lovely with a really sweet old couple of landlords. It makes a big difference, just that, that happiness and that sort of contentment. And that was in fucking Lincolnshire. <laughs> that was in a, a shit hole like Lincolnshire. So if I could achieve that there, in theory, having that sort of work life here in the southwest should be just incredible. And it should allow me to solve a lot of the things that make me unhappy and really have this like new foundation of of comfort security and everything like it should be amazing but along with that and i start i start the point of this though is that i start that soon i'm between the two jobs now i'll be starting that next month but the worry with that for me is that because it's not just a job i've got so much emotionally riding on this job and like I know I shouldn't, I know I'm, I'm really trying not to, I'm really trying to just be like, it's a job, and if it works, it's great, if it doesn't work, like, fuck it, you were going to believe it, you were going to resign anyway to avoid going back to Lincolnshire, so you've lost nothing by trying, right, so I'm really trying to be sort of logical about it, but, man, uh, I, I want that life, <laughs> I want that life so bad, and now is the chance to get it, but it's, it's up to me, it's up to me to step up and make it happen, I don't know if I'm capable of that really but time will tell like I say time will tell hopefully it'll all work out and be hunky dory and I'll be set and able to just like you know let's it have a really good time but like I say whatever happens I was gonna leave my previous job whatever happens because of the um, remote work thing so I've lost nothing uh, I've made the same decision I already was and I'm staying in Cornwall now like even if this job goes tits up I will still just um, you know, go back on the other plan, which was find something local that I can do. High hopes, love expectations, we should have to say that. But in the meantime, let's enjoy this ride. Let's enjoy a little bit of sun poking through finally, which is nice. I was a little worried there with those grey clouds. And um, yeah, enjoy the day. I don't think the mic's going to pick it up, but if you could hear the bass of those two... Uh, Harley derived V twins up front go through that high walled bit there. Oof. Meaty. Meaty, I tell you. Oh, it is beautiful around here. This really is why I of course I start talking to these start slowing down. But like this is why I sail in Cornwall. This road is nothing. This is not a, a destination road or anything. It's just this is what every road's like, but we've got corners, we've got like sweeping flowing bends and trees along the edges and hedgerows and this is like the absolute best that Lincolnshire had to offer is something like this and this is just every road in, in Cornwall this isn't quite close to where I live I haven't had to travel to get to this and that for me is the biggest thing like it's it's not just the quality of the environment it's the proximity it's the the ease of access and I love it in Cornwall. I love it here. It's got a lot of issues. Everywhere does. You know, I'm never ever going to own a home in Cornwall because, you know, Londoners. But it's just it's beautiful. And like, look, look at this. look at these rolling hills with the cows on them, and like, and and renewable energy everywhere, and the roads are well maintained. You can't beat it. And that's the thing. That's what I was saying to my managers as I was leaving the job. It's like. If the pandemic's taught us anything, it's that quality of life outside of work, for me in particular, is more important than quality of life inside of work. And 
you know if I had to downgrade a job to get to upgrade my life then I think that's worth it now I think that's really shown the importance of being happy where you live and jobs come and go jobs will always come and go you know there's no security or anything the, the world we have is so fleeting and fragile so you might as well make it somewhere worth living look at the state of this man no this was the right decision leaving the job moving on staying here oh look at this this is leafy <laughs> this is like every road in Cornwall it's this nice leafy tunnel these are so rare in Lincolnshire I had to I wrote to a um one of the big farms that owns like a huge you know county sized chunk of land up there because they had a private road that had one a road like that trees down it and I wrote to them I wrote them I like an email I was like hey I really miss these sort of roads can I bring my new bike which was the Bonneville at that point can I bring my bike onto your private road in one day and take a photos nice mini <laughs> what a what a situation like having to get permission from a farmer to go to a private road just to get something that I could get at every corner down here that's Lincoln that's Lincolnshire summed up in one onwards and upwards new chapters new everything it's beautiful we're now pulling into Lou I really like Lou it is touristy it is busy I don't care I love it it's beautiful Find me this in fucking Lincolnshire and all. Oh, old boy in the green. Got a Kawasaki. Which? What have we got down here? Cheers, me love. That's a bloke. <laughs> <laughs> nice tidy <started> cycle. <laughs> Bloody Harleys. <laughs> uh, yoink. How you doing, man? <laughs> right, I'll catch you in a bit, guys. <laughs> Fuck it out. <laughs> wow, that was a lovely little meal in Lou. Find a nice little pub with a beer garden, which is the main thing. Had some very nice burgers, some good service. There was a uh, what was it called? The Golden Guinea, I think it was called. Let me close my visor for you real quick. Yeah, Golden Guinea. Very nice, very nice. Uh, yeah, we're just going off for a bimble now. I don't know how much battery I've got left. Like I say, I'm still on the main battery, so... Um, I will say na I'll say goodbye now in advance, just in case. But yeah, thank you very much for joining me on this uh, bimble around Cornwall. Um, like I say, it's it's been a very, very long year, this one, but um, hopefully, if I can pull this new job off, and if I, you know, don't suck too much to keep it, so this could be the start of something, something really good, and, you know, 2024 onwards could be, could be transformative, really, so here's hoping. Fingers crossed, it'll all work out, and I'll be able to bring you some, uh, fantastic content from down here you know fantastic vlogs I'll be more energised and more money and more keen to get out and do stuff and yeah just the doctor ordered eh just what the doctor ordered but yeah thank you very much for watching and I'm going to transition to uh, play music for the rest of our guests ride safe
Get your roof down. It's as sunny as fuck and you're driving an MX-5. What are you doing, girl? Get it down, get the sun on you, get the wind in your hair. Enjoy it.